The Leica Q3 is a video monster. Welcome back. In today's video, we will show you what the Leica Q3 is capable to do with video modes. This is a customer car and I will try to shoot by myself. I got this baby here, the Leica Q3, set up to video mode. I will show you the specific video mode we're using for that baby in a minute. And we got a gimbal as well. When you come with me at the trunk, of course, we would like to have crisp images. And we got the DJI i3 Mini, which gives us the flexibility we need. The form factor for the gimbal and for the camera is quite perfect. And when you mount it, I will show you in a sec, is quite portable for us. You can just throw it in a backpack and you're good to go. It's cheap, it's 300 bucks, of course the Leica is a bit more expensive, but nevertheless, let's try if that form factor solution gives us crisp images. If you're new to the gimbal game, you need to be sure that the gimbal is balanced before you start to calibrate. And I did some work before we came here. So we're going to video. We got format in MOV. 60 frames per second, cinematic 4K, 60 all eye. Let's try it with that. You got 8K as well, but when you use 8K, you can just use 30 frames per second. And as we want to have some slow motions as well, um, for us, it would be good to shoot in 60 frames, but there is one setting for slow motion as well. It gives you 120 frames per second, but just in full HD. We will try that mode as well, but let's start with cinematic 4K then. Yeah, let's turn the gimbal on. There you go. As you probably already know, you have the tilt screen, which is quite nice for shooting with a gimbal, but you cannot move it to the front, so it's kind of impossible to shoot yourself. You got the Leica Photos app, which will give you the opportunity to remote control your camera. And there you have the full image. So running it for a vlog or something is possible. One negative thing we have, there is no space for our mic. We cannot mount it. There might be a solution later to connect via USB, but nevertheless, it's not working at the moment for us. So microphone quality is a thing. Uh, I will not recommend you to use the Leica Q3 as a professional videographer, but if you're just shooting content like I do with the customer course, for instance, or shoot my daily lifestyle or something, I don't know. Um, I think it's kind of easy to shoot it with the gimbal and this, the form factor is did you see it before? Did you see it tinier than this? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think so. That's why we will check if we can make a proper carpon and we will compare it with Niklas carpon. So we have a direct comparison from a heavy setup to a small, tiny setup. And yeah, let's check how that baby performs for us. We are in follow mode. I think this will be our first shot. All right, first shot done. As we are using speed ramps a lot, of course we need some dynamic motions. Um, I don't know how to do it yet, but Nicholas will tell me. So we started at the side view of the car and we will try to follow the whole circle that we will be able to use proper speed ramps for a more dynamic image.
So we need detailed shots of the wheel. That is very important for us to see the details we installed for the car. Plus interior, of course, is a thing. Usually we got the only one and only contrast for a car inside. And that's why we're filming a clean interior as well. Let's see if that baby is able to do it. Light condition is not the best when you ask me, but we're shooting in analog mode. Though in post-production, we will have a lot of capability and possibilities to enhance the image quality. Um, yeah, let's shoot the interior. Yeah, of course, I'm working with the gimbal the very first time. Um, Niklas will introduce me how to do it properly. And of course, some of the shots are from him, not from me, but you will have the direct comparison. And yeah, let's swap gimbals first. Yeah, I was already checking some of the footage we took. Five to 10 minutes, that's it. We don't have any more time, especially myself. Um, when I got the customer car ready, five or 10 minutes, shoot, 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 gimbal on. That took me around one minute to stabilize it properly. And my workflow is like 10 minutes shooting and not more than one hour post-production. As I shot in airlock, I will not see any difference yet. So you can decide how do you think the Leica performs in comparison to the Canon we usually use. Do you like the image quality? Do you think it's a proper handheld for shooting video? I think so. On a scale from zero to 10, I would give it a proper nine because for my style, for my workflow, it's quite perfect. It could have 120 frames per second for 4K and it could have a microphone plug which it doesn't have, but I think image quality is quite nice. As I don't see it right now, because we shot in analog, you can decide how do you think that Leica Baby performs for video. Did Leica finally find a solution or do they still need to rely on photography and that's it? Please put in the comments, what do you think? I'm totally curious about your opinion. I love that baby here. The form factor invites me daily to use it for video and for photo. So for me, it's perfect, but maybe you use it for professional reasons. I think you will have your limitations, but nevertheless, put in the comment section, would you buy it or not for video? Would you buy it for photography only? Like, comment, share that video and see you next time. Peace out.